What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at this MacBook Pro. It might look like any other MacBook Pro, but it isn't because it's going to be the basis for the Super MacBook Pro project, which I talked about in a previous video. So what I have is the unibody non-retina model MacBook Pro, which is still my favorite because there's a little bit of user configurability in there. But I did upgrade the processor to the top one that's available, 2.7 gigahertz quad-core Intel Core i7. This also has the top graphics available, the NVIDIA GeForce GT650M with one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory. So it's very, very similar spec-wise to the Retina model. Of course, you have a lower resolution display and the old body style that will allow for some upgrades. I did also opt for the upgraded display for this model, though, which will give you slightly higher resolution and most importantly the option for the anti-glare which I am a huge huge fan of more about that as the video moves forward otherwise the specification is pretty stock it's only got four gigs of RAM right now and a 500 gig hard drive that's because all that stuff is going to be replaced as part of the super MacBook Pro project in terms of the unboxing it's pretty much exactly as you'd expect like any MacBook. You have the unit, a little bit of paperwork, and the Apple stickers. This one has a cleaning cloth for your display, although you won't need it as much as if this had a glossy display. This is a special order. You will need to special order that anti-glare display if you are interested in it. You've also got your power brick, power adapter, as well as an extension cable. This stuff is pretty self-explanatory. It is MagSafe 1, so it's a little bit fatter than what we see on the newest MacBook Air. Actually, comparing this to the newest MacBook Air, you start to realize just how slim and light the MacBook Air is comparatively. It's two and a half pounds lighter, but this thing's going to be a powerhouse when I'm finished with it. You're going to have almost a terabyte of SSD storage as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I use it mostly like a desktop replacement. It simply goes from work to home with me, and I can carry everything I need with me and have, you know, lots of performance in something that I can fit into a bag. I've currently been using a 2011 model which is very very similar except it doesn't have this anti-glare display and I'm really a big fan of it I've already replaced the SSD inside of there or the hard drive I should say with an SSD this is gonna go 10 steps further because we're gonna have two SSDs inside of here um, more on that once again as the video moves forward but first let's take a look around this actual laptop on the left hand side you have power as well as Ethernet there's a Firewire 800 a Thunderbolt port two USB 3 ports an SD card slot. You have your audio input as well as your headphone output. On the other side, there's a slot for your optical discs as well as a lock. But of course, I'm going to remove the optical drive in this particular laptop, replace it with a bracket in order to hold in that secondary SSD so I get a ton bunch more, a ton bunch more SSD storage. So I'm really excited to get started on the transplant here and really turn the volume up on this particular MacBook Pro. The only other thing really to look at, I mean, everything is sort of the same as what you've seen in other MacBook Pros that are non-retina style. You have your camera on the front as well as your microphone for video conferencing. That's an HD camera. And of course, there's the backlit keyboard, the nice large trackpad as well. It's not quite as slender as the Retina model MacBook Pro, but that's not really a huge deal to me. I much prefer to have that extra expandability that comes with a modular design. You can just pop the bottom off and install your own components and that really means a lot to me. So this screen is actually kind of interesting because it's not as low res as the stock unibody model. It does add a little, a little bit more, a few more pixels I should say. It goes up to 1680 by 1050 from 1440 by 900 which is the stock non retina model MacBook Pro 15 inch resolution as it stands right now. So you can get a little bit more a little bit closer to retina not all the way there but this is completely fine for me i hook this thing up to an external monitor and that really is what gives me the ability to get tons of pixels anyways and i'd rather have some extra performance improvements over that retina screen that comes on the non-upgradable retina model now we are going to upgrade this thing we have some ram to test out two separate 16 gigabyte kits from corsair we've also got two neutron gtx 480 gigabyte s SSDs for almost one terabyte of total SSD storage. Stay tuned for the upgrade video coming up next on the Super MacBook Pro project. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no.